So, as I was saying before they keep cutting me off, it's still double for your trouble. You can still sow. Sow your way through. Yeah, I said it because I've done it and I know what God is going to do. And I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone does. Just watch God. Or watch me too, but watch God. Because what God has showed and told you, he shall surely make come to pass. Notice what I say. Make, make, make. The Bible says in Joshua, it says, um, that's my favorite scripture. Meditate in thy law day and night and then you will make your way prosperous are you thinking that you're not going to have opposition because i promise you will once you get serious and the devil knows you're serious he gonna send who what then them you know what i'm saying but you stay focused stay focused stay in attitude of prayer walk in love with people even the ones that don't like you and don't act like you don't know who they are they could pretend hello the world is nothing but a stage don't stop me this morning because i'm already been up all night pretty much on one hallelujah but god i'm gonna say but god i told you every time i fast every time i fast something grows something it, it, it's the pressing of the r that's what is going on you know i i have to be honest with you you know when i start talking fast, y'all know that's the spirit because i can't stop it but i'm gonna tell you something when the power of god gets on you and you understand what fasting is about and you understand what your destiny is about and you understand what your calling is about you stay focused you don't care what happens how it happens because you know that God is with you. There it is. You know that God is with you and God going to see it through and God going to make it happen. Double for your trouble. A lot of people don't understand. Everything is not money, but the Bible says money answered all things. You better understand what I just said. You got problems? Mm -hmm. You got, you need a financial blessing? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I decree and declare double for your trouble. I dare you to do it. I dare you to believe God. I dare you to believe the prophet of God. We've been playing too much. Playtime over with. Playtime is over with, saith the Lord. It is time for the power of God. You know what's happening? This is the rise up moment. The, the enemy is building up his kingdom, and God is building up his kingdom. That's what's happening. And yes, we in a war. And yes, you have an enemy. The huh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, it's real. The spiritual warfare is real. I have never seen it in my life the way I see it. And instead of getting weak and turn around and calling people, what, what, no, I got on my face. I'm on my face, said the Lord. You think it's a game? Oh, this is what we doing? This is what we doing? That's what I told him. This is what we doing? Then let's do it. Because first of all, it's already done. Because God has already written it. My position is to stay in position. My position is to stay in prayer through tears, through fears. And sometimes for many years. Because some of you get wore out because you say, oh, it hasn't happened yet. Oh, God, is it going to happen? Don't you understand the enemy is after your faith? Come on, Job. Don't you understand that... You see, what happened is Job was bragging on God. My God is an awesome God. And the devil went to God and said, you know, Job bragging on you. Let me test him. Some of you have been tested. Let me test him. And God said, go ahead, T test him, test him. That's what's happening right now. Test him, but touch not his life. Don't you understand? You are going to be here until God says. So until then, you got to do your job. And what he said, he said, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. Some of you get mad when things happen. I could have got mad. I mean, I have been hit. Don't act like you all don't see it. I have been hit. I'm talking about it, it's tight right now. I, uh, it, it, woo! I'm not lying. But God, I'm going to say it again. But God, this is what we doing, devil. Then guess what? God, let me tell you, it's the pressing of the oil in this moment. You see, the pain is going to push you to your purpose. I've been saying that for a year and a half when, when my daddy first died. I said, it feels like I'm in pain, but I'm in purpose. No, I like y'all don't see it. I'm in my purpose, finally. I say, finally. Don't you understand that this is what it was all about? God is not trying to break you, but he's trying to give you a breakthrough. But you got to stay focused, and you have to stay in the attitude of prayer. Some of us, we get tired, we get worn, and we... We just don't want to pray, be honest. But as a matter of fact, we just get tired. God, I can't go no more. Honey, let me tell you something. He knew this is prayer week. This is, come on, this is passion week. This is the week that he got up. Don't you understand? He came here knowing that he had to die for us who had did sin when he did no sin. I love it. I love it because guess what? He knew what he had to go through. What am I saying today? We know what we got to go through. Some of us just don't want to go through it. That's where you're wrong at because Jesus went through it for you. He died for you. Now it's your turn to live for him. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. But, but, but truth be told, we want to do what we want to do. Do a little here, a little there. You're dying like you don't know what I'm saying. Touch the unclean thing. Do that. And you wonder why you ain't got no power. Yeah, I say what I said. I said it. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I've learned too. I'm not telling you anything that I didn't have to learn and process myself. 
but now I'm going to say it again somebody but now say it again this is the time for spiritual maturity like never before to walk in God to talk with God to move in God people are tired of games people are hurting we want to know have you spent time with God because what's happening is everybody's after this after that but they're not spending time with God and if you don't spend time with God you don't understand the instructions of God the move of God an enemy is so slick he'll try to move us away with this and that and destruction deception and destruction are two most powerful tools trying to move us away from our God so I implore you this morning not only fast and pray but stay close to your God in this hour because it's hot out here. Them devil, you see them devils acting like food. So it's time for the remnant to stand and rise, said the Lord, like never before. Forgive people. Stop walking like the world. The church didn't become world if you want to know the truth. Walk around mad. What you mad for? You're blessed even in your mess. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. God is good. God is good. And, and, and I want to speak encouragement to you. I know life's been hard. You're talking to somebody that I understand have been through so much. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it. But God, and I used to get mad at God. God, I don't understand. I'm serving you. He said, and my son went through so much more. And he didn't do half of what you all do. So now it becomes a selfish act instead of a sacrifice. There it is. You want to be selfish or you going to be a sacrifice? Which one? I'm going to leave you with that. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sow your way through. I'm going to put my cash up on here. I don't care what nobody said. I see what God is doing. I hope you catch a hold. Let me tell you something. And I wasn't going to say this. But you know what? I'm bolder than I ever was, truth be told. Believe the prophet. Sow into the prophet and watch God. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. This is not a game. Some people do be lying and con, and I ain't going to lie. But I'm anointing it. Oh, hallelujah. No, don't get mad at me. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm confident because I've been proven. I've been processed. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. So you can't tell me that I'm not carrying it. Because I know I'm anointed to carry it. And when you're anointed to carry it, you better carry it right. Or God will get you. Mm-hmm. 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 I said it. I said it. So everything I tell you is for me as well. As a matter of fact, first, truth, truth be told. Oh, I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. This is our season. It's not just Deanna's season. This is your season. This is the season of the remnant. Stand up. Oh, 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 oh. You thought it was going to just happen. No. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent what? Take it by force. I'm not asking the devil for nothing. First of all, God has given me authority. Second of all, I, it's an inheritance. You're trying to beg and cry. It's already yours, says God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. You all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, and definitely be like it. This is the hour of power. For real. It's not a, a, a rhyme. Walk in the power of God by the presence of God, by the anointing of God. But you can't do that if you're not in God. Spend time with your God. Love on your God. The enemy is trying to distract us with money, honey, and funny. Don't I like y'all know what that is? And sometimes there are good distractions, truth be told. But God will wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and say, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So God bless you. God keep you. And have a blessed, have a blessed one. Lord. Make it a blessed day. The enemy is going to do what he's going to do. Rise up. Rise up, said the Lord. God bless you all. Much love and respect.